TV is providing the candidates for the Board of Selectmen in the town of Kingston this opportunity to let the voters get to know them. Each of the candidates will be given three minutes for a candidate statement, wherein they will outline their campaign message. They will then be asked two questions and have two minutes to answer those questions. There are two candidates running for one position on the Board of Selectmen. Welcome, Peter Bontek. Uh, thank you, Julie. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Please proceed with your candidate statement, Peter. You have three minutes. Well, as uh, a lot of people know me, I'm Peter Bonsek, and I've um, been living in Kingston now for uh, 14 years. I am a United States Army veteran, 62 years old. Don't feel it sometimes. Uh, Civil Rights graduate class of 1975. I have three grown sons, um, eight grandchildren, and we just found out last night that we are uh, having one more grandchild due in March. So uh, last night was a was a nice uh, surprise. Um, I have uh, in the 13 years that I have been on uh, in town, I have spent been on the capital planning committee seven and a half years as chairman. I have been on the audit committee. I served on the wage and personnel. Uh, I served on the permanent building committee as a chairman. I have been on the local, his, dis, local historic district study committee. I was also on the, when they implemented uh, this committee, the town government implementation committee, uh, the first year I was chair of that. And I also served on the Gatter advisory board for uh, two years. So, uh, in the, my time, uh, you know, I'm very involved in the town. I have been for quite a few years. And uh, back in 2016, I did run for state rep against a 10-year incumbent. And um, I received 40.1% of the vote. So uh, I'm pretty proud of that fact that that's what happened. Um, I also was the person who initiated the recent recall. I also was the um, the uh, person who, um, geez, I forget the name of it, um, uh, lead petition on it. I spent a lot of time, a lot of time out there uh, getting the signatures for the uh, uh, for the recall, for the petition for the recall, and uh, it was a tough thing to do to have twenty uh, over two thousand signatures in twenty one days. I was out there seven days a week, rain, shine, everything. And there were a lot of other people too. But I just, you know, to, to fight for what we did and to come through, uh, I was very happy with that because of people starting to listen in town of what's really going on. So uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have time to speak at the end, but I would appreciate anybody uh, who did sign the petition for the recall I would appreciate you coming out. We did have a, a historic election on the 27th where 2,800 people came out to vote and uh, that we did have the recall. So I would appreciate anybody who did sign the petition. With it. I would appreciate your vote on August 1st. Thank you. Thank you. Your first question. How would you differentiate yourself from your opponent? You have two minutes. Well, I would, um, I would differentiate the, the time. I have time. You know, my children are gone. Yes, I'm having, uh, I get a great number of uh, grandchildren, which I love every single one of them. Uh, I forgot to mention that my dog Maximus also. A lot of people in town know Maximus. But I have the time when uh, my opponent uh, was originally going to run for the recall, uh, for the recall position. And, uh, decided not to turn in their papers because she did not have the time. Having a full-time job, having three children, um, being on the school committee for a total of seven years. If one understands, she does a great job on the school committee. But uh, her reasoning for not uh, going through was because she didn't have enough time. Uh, I have all the time that I need. Uh, over the years, I've put in a lot of volunteer time, as I said earlier in my, um, my beginning of the speech or what you want to call it. But um, that is one of the reasons. The other one is the more knowledge of how the, um, how the town works. With all the committees I've served on, being it's as- It's four o'clock. Uh, being as I've uh, been involved 
uh, with everything in town. Uh, I know the I know the workings of the town. I know town meeting. I know everything there is to know about the town, and I also know what uh, what is going on uh, with. Uh, you can ask me anything about the what the um, with this economic development, which I don't use that in uh, looking for uh, votes because it's it's not that uh, easy to do to get economic development. But I know everything that's going on between every article that is on town meeting, and I hope everybody goes because we need more people there. I know every thing about the every article that's on um, the wall. Okay, thank you. Your second question, what are your top three priorities for the town in light of our current situation and how do you plan to fulfill them? Again, Peter, you have two minutes. I could probably use an hour on this, but uh, first of all, you know, my, uh, I can only have suggestions for, uh, for the other four members and then we uh, get together and we would uh, vote if we get to the point where there'd be a vote made about it. So. It's not, not one, and that's what I love about the, the new selectmen that are in right now is the fact that it's a collective board of five that makes decisions, not just two or three people that he had in the past. So what, what I'd like to see is uh, I want to hold people accountable for their actions. We've had a lot of different instances have happened in the town, and uh, people weren't held accountable for their actions. I want to find better ways. I know I can find better ways to cut the budget and make the town sustainable to live in. So um, that's, 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 a, that's a big big part of it for me. And also um, residential building, there's so much residential building going on in the town and our services, our taxes are so high, we don't see anything to offset. And right now we're looking at uh, the, the close to 300 apartments up at the mall. There's uh, uh, another development uh, that they want to buy these 46 acres uh, that's on the um, town meeting article that's going to have more houses. We need, I would like to see a moratorium on residential building to, uh, so we could stop and take the time to see what these all possible um, uh, residential buildings, uh, what effect it will take on the town with, with schools, with traffic. Um, with services, you know, we, we get close to uh, 300, there's another 200 they want the MBTA, another 255 plus, and a possible 700 up at the top, up by the mall. So that's a lot of building, never mind the residential buildings, uh, houses. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was Peter Bonchek. Please remember to vote in the special town election scheduled to be held on Saturday, August 1st. I'm Julie Thompson for PAC-TV. Stay informed, keep it local, good day.